With this expansion comes a brand new gameplay feature and resource, Influence. Ah. Influence is spent primarily at the palace on native warriors, mercenaries and unlockable units from age ups. Okay. New technologies are unlocked each age depending on which African alliance politician you choose. There's a variety of sys in which you can obtain this extreme valuable resource. Trading post, resource struggle, native settlement, shipments and crates. Owning large herds of cattle. What is cattle again? Victor Logan? Mm. How dare me? Um, Livestock trickle influence. Fattened animals trickle faster. Is it like um, the Indian cows? Just, but not with XP, but is the influence resource. University, unique house or building that triggers XP or influence under the sphere of influence aura. Triggers fastest when near a town center, trading post or palace. Mountain monastery, unique Ethiopian building which villagers and abims can be tasked to gather coin and influence. Interesting. Cattle are cows. Ah, I see. Age of Alliance. Offer unique technologies with often able new ways to generate influence. So, is it just a theme for Ethiopia and Hausa? So, with the new two new expansions of Ethiopia and Hausa. Construct a palace to recruit mercenaries, alliance units, improved artillery, or the new Gatling camel. Okay. Build a generator to lure huntables and boost your food gear. Oh no, when I hear just by hearing that. Either gonna be like a Japan. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. We have to weigh it out, right? Mmm. Or livestock market to trade Sanga or Sebu cattle. Be crafty with your herd, as market prices will only rise and become profitable slowly over time. Or go all in with a legendary royal banquet, securing a generous amount of influence for your allies. Like Big Button or what? Unique hero abilities. The Hausa Emir or the Ethiopian Ras. Yeah. African heroes share the chaos ability, which briefly causes treasure guardians to turn on each other. This effect lasts longer on stronger guardians, based on kill XP. Would you be able to kill those very beefy big guardians when you have like a treasure worth? 350 food and use that ability Wouldn't they be able to kill themselves if you have for example these riflemen With high base attack which two or three shots themselves so This could be huge And African heroes have a fealty aura Where their stats are improved by each nearby allied unit Allied unit. So not your unit but from teammates. Does it mean that this ability is completely useless in 1v1s or what? Uh, players can obtain additional heroes from a various cards and technologies. Oh, this can be interesting. Uh, shared buildings. Livestock market. Functions as a market and a livestock pen. Okay, can sh exchange animals for resources. Palace, a large defensive building with a range attack. Yeah, features powerful elite units and trains all unlock units as well as mercenaries. Uh huh. All units tax cost influence. Okay, interesting. So basically, you have four, right? 
or a stronghold, whatever you want to call that. I guess this is, is good on large treasure maps. Yeah, I would guess so too. Oh gosh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's also a new coin. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, what do we have again? Uh, port. A dock that always features a mercenary warship and gain access to European naval vessels. Does it mean the big beefy boy that they can train? A hut supports 10 population as usual, yeah. Different militia can be levied using the influence cost, so maybe like do you know the China card which they can send to call the irregulars from that? I think that's basically it. A field. Uh, two villagers may gather food or coin from it. Very cheap to construct but takes a long time to sow. No good place to gun for player. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Is it like, isn't that like one on one from AOE 2? Or, no, more like AOE 1, right? But you can also get a coin from it. I guess this could be nice if you are run out of food and don't have quite the resources to transition to mills and estates. A granary has a gather aura which boosts villager food and field gather rates attracts nearby huntables oh the, so that is basically ep tps right where they boosted all of the economy of eight percent nearby a war camp trains all african military units no range attack so only melee units from the war camp okay Shower, an outpost that can train outlaws. Town center, yeah. And uh, was gate, it's. Edge mechanic. Oh! Can I zoom in? I can't. Sad. What is this? Okay. Both New African civilizations advance by forcing an ally with a potential ally. The Ethiopians and the Horsa both have unique alliances available on to them. Okay. Alliances offer technologies, buildings, and unique units, such as the Arsenal Wagon, Camel Rider, to complement. We are expanding African forces, yeah, creating a strong and unique royal army. So, the US, right? Soaking up every piece of information that D would be like before release. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sorry for that. Oh, that can be. Ah, the opinions make. Oh, yo, blah, 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 blah. This screen shop you already know about, right? Okay, I'm still on the. No, that's all unique units. Okay. Gassiena, H2. Agile range infantry, arms with javelins, spear and a, shi a shield. A child. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, takes on the role of musketeers. Okay, attacks faster the closer it is to the target. That's interesting. Uh, Shoto warrior. Shock infantry that attacks quickly by dual weeding curved swords. Wait, does it mean that I have like 0.75 attack and just shred everything? Neftiena, powerful expensive skirmisher with high hit points. We have this kind of right as native. Uh, the Kree right have them. Uh, the Aroma Warrior. Powerful three population heavy range cavalry that shoots faster the closer they are to the target. 
has a powerful melee attack and great at countering light infantry. So basically a Dragoon type of unit which has higher DPS the closer the target is. Hmm. Javelin Rider. Range cavalry, good against hand cavalry, particular melee. Uh. Oh, those are kind of hybrids, right? Those two units here. Never stop all mortar. A mortar which inhalates units and units and buildings. Ah, oh, the Abun. As the Abun Bishop who can heal friendly units from range. Okay. Even while they are fighting or gathering, may also gather the mountain monastery like a villager. So basically a priest, right? But which can heal while they're fighting. Now we come to the Hosa. Riots, look at this, lots of planes. Oh no. Present the Empire with a mix of resourceful archers. Fast raiders, oh no, not fast raiders. And imposing knights. Oh no. We have again good raiders. <laughs> no. So, what do we have here? The Lifty Knight. Powerful heavy cavalry with exceptional HP but lower damage has dual resistances. Okay. A raider. Mobile hand cavalry which with decent siege damage, good against light cavalry and villagers. Fulani archer. A foot archer, armed with a short bow for a fast attack. Good against heavy infantry and range cavalry. Can gather livestock. Okay, so military units can gather from livestock. That's interesting mechanic. Mega die. Powerful heavy range infantry with deadly me melee attack. I don't know what what they want. Also, it's basically a musketeer, right? Ah, seems like it. Javelin rider again. And the Griot. We also know that. Okay, and your historic battles. La la la. New achievements. Pre order now. Okay, that's it. How much does it cost? Only 10 euros? Oh, not bad. I really thought we could get uh, like a completely new campaign. Instead of just historical battles. On the August 2nd, 2021. Okay. 50 new African maps, that's nice. Yeah, I know, I have no idea what I mean by that. Where was it? Not here. Here the Mega Die. Does it mean it's, it's like a Sepoy? Means they have high melee attack. I mean, Musketeers are in general heavy range infant. It is only available during H3 though. So on H2, they only have uh, Archer and. Um, Raiders as unique units that is and the Javelin Rider what was in the unique units maybe special ability or something I don't know it could be right maybe like the obsidian charge from the Landsknecht or what are the other units again? Sky Knight. But it could be right, yeah. 
Both Civs seem to be like more of the age of three agenda Civs. I mean, they both get like those powerful units. It seems they played around with the closer the target is, the uh, better the unit gets. Couldn't it be totally broken at like pro level gameplay? Where you totally know how much you can get away with something. H3 upgrades. What do we have? A church builder. Arsenal builder. I can't I move in. I want to zoom in now, but I can't. No. I feel like they should not make just this effect only applying for the Riot. It should always also affect like all healing units. So they have actually used an AoE 3. Ah, this was the drummer here, right? Ah, Eben and the Cryot. Ah, I thought those were the same. They aren't. Oh, totally skip up half that. Mm, increase the work rate of buildings and speed of nearby units. Slow the attack speed. This can be also very good. What? Do you think it stacks or it's just gonna be like one one ability? This could be deadly for endgame then. In one. So anything else? Or anything which is really Interesting are the for each nearby allied unit. Does allied mean or does it mean the what is it? The edge mechanics where you can ally with uh, these states, whatever it's called, tribes. And they can make units. It for each unit you make from those, your hero gets stronger. That can also mean that. Now that I think about it. Uh, now we have sound. Look at that. big beefy boy here. <laughs> where is it? Wait, where is it? Dude. That's a big beefy boy right there. Dang it. I just want to play. Is this a freaking mortar? They can build an H4. Holy. That's like a bombard. But weirder. What was this thing they showed? Uh, all future shipments deliver a semi-fattened goat. Oh, that's nice. Moroccan leather. 
Hurtable's grand influence, which killed uh, when killed. Aha. Uh -huh. Cause a marksman to look at watchtowers. Bombarded oh, mortar one. I know, right? <laughs> this thing is so ridiculous, dude. Wait, that's a new boat. <laughs> they look, <laughs> they look nice. <laughs> it's like a fishing boat with a cannon. <laughs> They're fishing boat with a cannon. <laughs> Just destroying casually a big figure. <laughs> what is that? <it? laughs> that looks funny. This is That's a uh, few of the new, new unit. Do we see the new melee unit? I think so, right? No, that's it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> is... <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh, please. 